Okay, we're gonna do a quick demonstration here today. We're on the Yamaha R6, did a chain adjustment, and we're gonna do things the right way. And it's real common for people to take a look at, you know, like this lock nut here and think, okay, I'm just gonna get on here and I'm just gonna tighten this down because the axle is already torqued and I'm not gonna be able to take this small uh, nut, if you will, and move the axle. So I should technically be able to get that tight. Does that make sense? But the right way to do it is we've got the axle torque. And what we want to do is we want to be able to put something on to there, on there to where we can hold the center bolt, which is an Allen on here, and we're going to use what's called a crow's foot. And this is just a simple everyday torque wrench. We got an adapter, and our crow's foot is going to be able to go around our fastener, and then we can hold the nut, excuse me, hold the bolt inside, and then we can torque it per the manual. But before I do that, I want to make let's get close here and take a look at this. We have to be, anytime we have an adapter on the torque wrench, we have to be at 90 degrees. If I'm anywhere else, that's changing the length of the torque wrench and then it's not gonna torque appropriately. Does that make sense? A couple years ago at our Skills USA contest, this is one that hurt a lot of people on Harley Davidson did a clutch cable adjustment and nobody grabs torque wrenches realistically to lock two lock nuts together on a cable. This is one of the stations that separated the men from the boys. They wanted it done. They gave a torque spec and the only way to do that would be with a crow's foot. So let's just go ahead and model that quick here. Go ahead and put this on here. I'm going to put a little tension. I'll try and switch my hands so I'm not blocking it. So I want that tension there. And I gotta get that the right way here. Get my hand in the right place, right? Yep. Okay. Okay, I have to readjust, which is common on a crow's foot. Okay. Now, I'm gonna, I've, my wrench has moved on me, okay, from screwing around or whatnot. I'm going to make sure and get back to 90 degrees or I'm going to do it wrong, right? See how when I'm putting that on there, since I'm not holding my hand, it's moving a tooth on me. So I got to adjust myself. I'm 90 degrees. I'm going to go ahead here and get my wrench somewhere where I shouldn't have to make an adjustment again. I'm going to hold that. Click, and I'm done. Make sense? Yep. So, you know, just in summary of this, guys, why are we going to this extent? Muscle memory, just doing it right. We got the right tools, it's easy enough for us to do it right. By doing this, it's gonna create habits that we're gonna use everywhere else. Now this guy right here already did that. These guys are working on a spike and they're doing a great job, but we looked up the spec. You guys found that in the service manual pretty easy. So um, I appreciate you doing it the right way and showing me that I can trust you to do that when I ask you a spec in the future. So good job guys. If you like what you see here, would you please share it? I'd love you to keep my platform going here on uh, technical education and uh, um, the ways to be great in your craftsmanship. So keep on wrenching, and we'll see you again in the future. Thanks for being a subscriber and follower of the channel.